In news from Jamaica, there are mixed reactions to the Minister of Education, Senator Rural Reid's announcement that auxiliary fees will no longer be required for high school students effective the next academic year, which starts in September. Instead of the auxiliary fee, the Minister of Education will increase its subvention to schools, which is currently $11,500 per student, or roughly $94 U.S. dollars to $19,000 or 154 U.S. dollars. President of the Jamaica Association for Principals for Secondary Schools, JAPSS, David Wilson says the removal, notwithstanding the increase in subvention, will leave a substantial gap in the operational budget of schools. That welcomes the thinking of the government to remove the fees and to have parents have less of a burden. Jobs is concerned that the schools are not going to be properly funded. Each school would have an operational budget, and the school would have cast its budget on the basis of the per capita cost of students. And if you take school A, that has a per capita cost of $40,000. The government pays eleven five. The parent would pay the difference of 28500 The government now says that no fees should be paid, and the government is only paying 19000 means that the school will be left with almost a 50% gap in the budget. Because even now, as with the government paying and the parents paying, most schools operate on the basis that they will not be getting the full cost to operate schools. So we believe that the, the, whilst the thinking is good, at this time it is going to put school principals in a position where we're not going to be able to properly manage our operations at school. He says that instead of the removal all at once, a phased arrangement would have been better. It's going to be removed. It should not be a one-off. We would propose that the government is increasing its contribution by 7,500%. Let us say that the government pays the parents. Those who fees are within the realm of, say, $10,000, reduced it by 5000 So parents would still be aware that there is a contribution that they would be making, and maybe over time remove it totally, but I think the shock of just doing it just like this is not necessarily going to be workable. On the contrary, the National Parent Teacher Association is in support of the removal of auxiliary fees, but President of the Association, Everton Hannam, says it's cautiously welcomed. The announcement comes to the PTA and is one which is welcomed with certain levels of caution. Any initiative that is geared towards reducing expenses by parents and which should generate additional income in their pockets is a welcome news. However, because there will be a, still exist a gap in the amount of money that schools will need so they can continue to provide the quality services, then it will be that parents will be asked to continue contributing to that gap. Now, our concern is also if the amount that is going to be asked by parents to contribute towards reducing that operational cost gap is equal to the amount of auxiliary fees which have been removed, then therefore it would have been no um, relief at all. If, however, the amount that is to be asked is a smaller amount because parents are aware that there has to be some level of contribution towards the educational process, whether it be towards the many contributions that some schools might require in order to ensure that the kind of services that they offer to our students are still available and will be readily available when school reopens. He notes that parents should be made aware that they still have to contribute to their children's education despite the removal of the auxiliary fees. What has to happen is that there has to be some discussion with the school authorities principal as to what are those services that are going to be offered during the school year and what is the contribution that is going to be required from parents. It has to be a collective understanding so that at the end of the day parents can still see that the auxiliary fees removal in one, on one hand was beneficial but they will be contributing even on a reduced amount contribution towards the services being offered in middle schools. And these would vary from institution to institution because of the kind of plant or the facilities that each school has and also because of the additional services, extracurricular activity or other activities that will be offered to the school or to the students during the calendar year.